Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, as you can see by the title, today I'm gonna be showing how I installed this lace front wig. So first I already have my ball cap on and I'm just pinning some hair in the back because it was sticking out still. So I use bobby pins and that's how it looks. It looks a lot better. So moving on to the hair, the hair that I'm using is from Atina Hair. Um, thank you to Atina Hair for sending me this wig. So it comes with wig caps and then an elastic band and then of course the wig. So this wig is a 360 lace front wig um, in the texture curly. It is 22 inches and then it is 160% density. So this is how it looks um, right out of the bag. Um, and like I said, it's 360 so it goes all the way around. And then inside the wig, it has a little elastic thing on the back so you can adjust the wig. And then it has two combs on the side, a comb in the front, and a comb in the back. Um, and yeah, so that's how it looks inside the wig. And this is what the lace looks like. I don't know if it's pre-plucked or not. It looks like it is, and it does have baby hairs, as you can see. So this is what the wig just looks like all together, and yeah. So I'm first starting off with cutting off the back part of the lace. It is a 360, like I keep saying, but I don't ever use that part of the lace um, I don't ever do like updos so I cut that off and I'm using two different color powder foundations and I'm putting that on top of the lace so it can be um, you know tinted to my skin tone and I don't know why I said that they were powder foundations they were clearly eyeshadow uh, colors but anyways this is what the wig looks like when I finished um, it looks pretty good and matches and that's what the inside looks like um so now i'm gonna go ahead and put the wig on this is my first time actually putting it on and like measuring it and seeing how it looks on me so um i did that i measured it out to make sure that it would look right and i'm pulling it down over past where the bald cap is so for this part i went ahead and um cut the lace i kind of got ahead of myself and i usually cut the little ear parts off first but I cut that and um I felt like the hair the um bald cap was a little bit too low so I just took a cotton ball and I put some water on it so I don't spray the whole lace and I lifted it a little bit on the sides and then I cut it off I used a little bit of got to be gel too so that I could like get that part to smooth down because it did kind of rise up a little bit so yeah I went ahead and did that and it looks a lot better um I actually can lay the lace down and it won't be like on my eyebrow you know like it won't be too far um above so yeah i went ahead and did that i did it on both sides so that it would be um even and yeah so once i cut that off and it looks good to me i'm gonna go ahead and cut off the lace where my ear is and make sure it doesn't overlay um on this part of course you do have to cut some hair off so if this is your first time doing it yeah you gotta cut some hair off when you do this so that it would actually lay flat and you can pull it around your ear like that. So I did the same thing, of course, to the other side. And now is the part where I'm going to be laying down the wig. I'm using my Ghost Bond glue and I'm starting with the middle section first. I always start with this first because I feel like when I do the other sides first, um, this part always like creases kind of, or not creases, but it, like has that weird fold to it. So I always do this so that's flat. So I'm going to go ahead and take the glue, I already put it down, and I'm using my comb and I'm like spreading it out a little bit. Um, I use this comb, I like dedicated this comb for this only. So yeah, I'm doing that and I let the glue dry. It didn't dry clear, but I went ahead and did it anyways. It was tacky, so I went ahead and just put the lace down. So I pulled it down and I'm pushing it in. I'm using a comb also to help kind of smooth it down. And you can see there is a white uh, residue from the glue on my um, lace still. So I went ahead and I used some got to be free spray. I don't know if this helped or not. I feel like it did because last time I had a residue like that, it stayed the whole time and I wasn't able to get it off. And this time I sprayed that on my hair and it actually like seemed to disappear. So I think that helped um, keep the residue or make the residue go away. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same steps to the other sides of the wig, the lace. When I'm applying the glue, I like to put it all on at once. I know some people like will do layers, like a really thin layer and then go back in and do another layer and then another layer. But I like to just put it on all at once just to get it over with. I don't have time for all them layers. So um, if you feel comfortable doing layers, do layers. But for me personally, I like to just put it all on at once and let it dry all at once and then just get it done and over with.
So now I'm on the last section of gluing the lace down. I had to go back in on that small part and put a little more glue. If you ever see anything lifting or like something like this happens, make sure you always go back in and fix it because you might not be able to later on. So that's how it looks on that side. Um, and then I cut a little bit more lace off also so it'll look a little bit better. And then I went in with the glue, the got to be spray and smoothed it down. And that's how that side is looking. And this is how the whole lace looks. I feel like it looked pretty good. And then I went back in with the uh, same powder that I used earlier and I'm using the smaller part of the brush to get kind of more in there. It was a couple pieces that had like that residue from the glue still on there. So I wanted to see if I could cover it up and like kind of make it look a little better. So yeah, I went ahead and did that and now I'm cutting off the actual lace. I zoomed it in a little bit more so you can see. And then when I was done cutting off the lace, I didn't show it, but I did use some got to be glue and I went back in um, and smoothed some of the pieces down that were sticking up still. So then I'm brushing out the actual hair and I pulled out some edges on one side already and I'm just moving on to the other side doing the same thing. I won't use all this hair, but I just wanted to pull out and see what I had to work with first. So this is all the hair that I'm going to be working with. Um, like I said, I'm not using all of it, so I had to push some back up into the wig. And with this piece, I'm just cutting it with my scissors. You can make it as long or as short as you want. And I'm using mousse first, and I'm just using my brush and swooping it how I normally would with my hair. And then also, I went ahead and went over that with the got to be uh, glue gel. And I just did that to make it a little bit more secure. And I'm continuing doing the same steps to the rest of my hair. So once I finished up that side, I did the other side off camera and I'm using some mousse and I'm putting that more on like the baby hair slash edges and I'm doing this just so that everything stays in place. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm putting on two different scarves. You can do one if you want, but I use two just so that I make sure everything stays in place. Nothing gets moved around. Um, and yeah, so I'm putting on both my scarves. I'm using this bandana first and then we're using a satin scarf. I was filming this part late at night, so I was trying to wrap my hair and go to sleep. So that's how my hair looks. I wrapped it up and the next morning, this is how my hair looks when I take it out. And the first thing that I did was use water um, on the front part of the hair. And this is just to loosen it up a little bit from using all that mousse. And I'm also detangling the hair. I'm not pulling the brush all the way through the whole strand of hair, just because I'm only focusing on the front part here. So then I went ahead and I made a middle part. I kind of already had a middle part, but I enhanced it a little bit more, I guess. Now to define the curls, I'm spraying the hair with water from root to tip. I like to like drench the hair in water when I do this. And then I'm using mousse on top of that. And I like to use a lot of mousse also. Using mousse and water is like my favorite thing to use when I'm defining like curls on a wig. And then I went ahead and I'm using my Denman brush. I couldn't find my other brush that I use, the one that kind of separates as you brush through it, but this one still got the job done. And no, this wig isn't too big for me or anything like that. If you can see the back part of the wig is showing, it's because I didn't use the clip in the back of the wig, so it wasn't secure at all and it kept coming up every time I brushed the hair. But I'm just continuing the same steps to the other side. Now I'm focusing the mousse more on the top part of the hair just to make it look flat and even and also to make sure the part was showing. So it's a couple hours later. I forgot to close out the video and to show how the hair turned out and the final results. So this is how the hair is looking. Um, now, first of all, the hair, it said it's 160% density. It feels more like a 130, 140. I don't know. It does not feel like 150 and up. So that's one thing about the wig, about the hair that I wanted to mention. But everything else about the hair I did like. This is how long the hair is and how far it goes on me. 
and yeah so this is the final result again thank you guys for watching hope you guys like the video make sure to like comment subscribe for more content from me and i'll see you in my next video bye